Today you're going to start researching a technology-based career uh, that you're going to create an infographic about. I only expect you to get the research done today. If you do get further, that's awesome and you can keep going. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to get started with that. So you're going to go to this website, Ion Future, and you're going to click on Play as Guest. And then we're going to do this down here, number two, STEM Career Matchmaker. And you're going to try to find a job that um, matches your interests. But it'll be a STEM career. So some of you might not find something that exactly that you like, but hopefully you'll find something that works. You'll click the Start button, and then you have to click on which things you're interested in most. So I'm going to choose a couple things. And then I'm going to click Skills, and you're going to pick the ones that you are best with. You'll notice the more things you click, the better options you have. Here's where it gets interesting. With education, what's the most advanced degree you're willing to get? So with high school diploma, you're not going to have really any options in a STEM career. And with your vocational or associate's degree, you'll have a little bit more. Bachelor's gives you a little bit more. Master's and then doctorate pulls all of them out. I'm just going to click on bachelor's degree and see what's in here. If I want to know what these jobs are, you click on them and you can start reading a little bit about what they do. They're kind of cool to read. And I know that I want software engineer and it's in here somewhere. It usually shows up right in the beginning, but oh, let's do video game designer. Cool. All right, so you'll grab the career that you want, and you're going to start doing research. So I'm going to pull open two screens here so I can research all the information in these boxes. Um, I'll put in the career that I'm going to do right here. And then I will start filling in this information. I do want you to use your own words. Uh, so you might need to read a little bit and reformulate it into your own thoughts. You're not going to find a lot of information in this website, so use these links to go find uh, more information about your career. I didn't see anything in there about game designer, video game designer, there's no G. Hmm. There's nothing here, so I'm going to Google this one. I'm going to say video game designer job information. I'm looking for a website link that'll take me to, um, I really would like the government's website that has all the information on it, but it doesn't link to that one. So let's see what this one says. All right, looks like it has a decent amount of information. Cool. It tells me the degree or the amount of time I need to go to school. I don't see anything about pay. Online resources. Related careers. You might have to Google and look around to find the information to fill it in. But you'll fill in all of these pieces. The Are there specific software programs for this career? Uh, some careers have very specific software that you have to use. Not many, though. So for the most part, you won't be filling that out. Um, you will have to search a little bit within these jobs to find more information about them. Some of the jobs that this will link you to, um, this is the one I was looking for, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. They have some really great links in here that talk about um, like the work environment. It tells you more about it. Take the time to look for these and fill this out well. It'll make the next part easier. Once you've finished doing your research, then you're gonna go to Canva. And you're going to create an account on Canva. Yours will look like this when you get in there. You're going to sign up with Google. 
and it'll ask you some questions. Um, allow it access to Google and then click on education for the type of account that you want to use. Create a design and scroll down to the blogging and ebooks because you want the infographic. There are a ton of them. You only want to use the ones that are labeled free. So find the one you want, the one you like best, pull it over, and you can start editing it. So if I wanted to use this one, I would go in this first box and start getting rid of this and say video game designer. Um, and I might just get rid of that little box altogether, and then maybe I would get rid of that. Maybe I will pull some pictures over. There's elements over here. You really need to play with this. It's kind of neat to see everything that's available in here. I'm going to put in video game. Ooh, yay. I don't see any free ones, though. Boo. 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 All right, let's see. How about just game? No. Oh, free. I saw something free. That, uh, still not great. Well, it's free, so we will so throw something in there that's free. That looks cool in the background. And elements. I'm going to look under photos here and see if I can find anything for video game. Nope, nothing that's free. Most careers, you're going to find a lot of free stuff for this. I'm just going to write computer and see what comes up. And I can pull over some of these things to use. Again, I'm looking for free ones. And then I can start changing the text in here and maybe I'll start out with talking about um, the education that you need. You really can lay it out any way you want as long as you cover all of these pieces of information. If you look at the rubric, it'll tell you exactly what I'm looking for with the creation of it. I want to see all that information in there. I want it to look nice. I want it to be readable and I don't want any spelling errors. It, the program really does a lot of it for you, so you really don't need to worry too much about it. Make sure every now and then you click save. It saves automatically on its own, but you don't want to lose any of your work. Again, all you have to get done today is your research. Okay? Have a good afternoon. I will see you tomorrow.